डियर चिल्ड्रेन आई एम बैक विथ पार्ट थ्री ऑफ क्लास सिक्स फिजिक्स चैप्टर टेन मोशन एंड मेशरमेंट ऑफ डिस्टेंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट्स ऑफ मेशरमेंट वट इज दैट येस द एस आई सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स और द इंटरनेशनल सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास सो वट इज अवर टॉपिक फॉर टूडे एनी गस today we are going to see how the measurement of length is done accurately we know that the si unit of length is meter by measurement of length we mean the distance between two points or between two places but when we measure length we also use multiples and sub multiples of meter which are the multiples and sub multiples of meter for example if you want to measure the length of a pencil the length of the pencil is expressed in centimeter right so that centi is a sub multiple of meter again if you want to express or measure the thickness of a coin how do you write the answer the thickness is expressed in millimeter so milli is a sub multiple of meter but if you want to express the distance between two places you express the answer in kilometer kilo is a multiple of meter so according to the size of the object or convenience we use multiples and sub multiples of meter for the measurement of length let me familiarize you with some length measuring devices which are known to you you have seen it what is this on the screen it is called a meter scale why it is called a meter scale because we know 1 meter is equal to 100 cm in this scale when you examine it closely you can see there are numbers marked starting from 0 then the next marked division is 1 cm then 2 3 like that there are 100 cm marked in that scale since this 100 cm is 1 meter we call it as a meter scale okay in this meter scale you can see divisions on both sides and in some cases one side of the scale has readings in inches also this is a close up view of this centimeter scale okay let us take these two cases the first division is 0 and the second one is 1 so between this is zero that is starting or the reference point and then comes 1 2 3 like that how many divisions we have 100 100 cm between any two marked readings or between any two cm you can see there are small divisions how many small divisions are here you can see there are 10 small division in 1 cm so this 10 small division in 1 cm that is called millimeter that means one small division in the meter scale that is 1 millimeter so how many millimeters make 1 cm 10 millimeters make 1 cm and 100 cm make 1 meter so this meter scale is used for measuring length in terms of meter now another device for measuring length you have seen this also this is a measuring tape which is mainly used by tailors what is the difference between this meter rod which you had seen before and the measuring tape can you see any difference the meter rod is very rigid you cannot bend it but this measuring tape is flexible so if you want to take measurement around your chest or around your uh, shoulder what you have to do we cannot use meter scale since you cannot bend it then we can use measuring tape for measuring the length of an object we have to choose a suitable measuring device if you want to measure the girth of a tree you cannot use a meter rod for that instead you can use measuring tape if you want to measure the a uh, length of a pencil instead of meter scale you can use the small centimeter scale which is in your geometry box 
so depending on the type of object and the measurement you have to choose the measuring device properly if the object is straight like the length of a room or the length of a book we use meter scale and also we can use measuring tape but if the object is round or curved not straight we cannot use a meter scale for that but we can use a measuring tape because it is flexible now my question is can we use an elastic material elastic measuring device for measuring length is there any problem with using elastic material what is the speciality or property of uh, elastic material they stretch when you apply a force right so when you use a an elastic material for the measurement we may not get the proper reading because it will stretch while you take the measurement measuring tape which we had seen before is not stretchable but it is flexible while you make the measurement if it stretches you may end up with a wrong reading now we are going to see or study how the measurement of length is done accurately using a scale there are some steps or precautions to be taken while you measure the length using a scale otherwise there will be a lot of errors so we should study how to take the measurement using a scale the first precaution if you want to measure the length of an object you have a scale and place the scale in contact with the object along the length suppose you want to measure the length of this pencil okay you have a 30 cm scale also with you how do you measure the length of the pencil see in the scale you can see the measurements from 0 to 30 cm first thing is that you have to keep the object in contact and in straight line with the scale if you want to measure the length you have to keep the scale like this place the scale in contact with the object along its length it should not be kept like this or like this you will not get a proper reading you have to place it along the length of the scale like this now as you keep it along the length of the scale take care that the tip of the object in this case it is pencil comes in direct line with one of the readings which you can see here i can see the zero clearly so i keep the tip of the pencil in line with the zero of the scale okay then how to read the reading well we have to this is the length of the pencil so the end point comes here so how do you take the reading here you have to look at the reading where it comes now how to look the position of eye in taking the reading is very important you cannot see from here or from here your eye should be exactly above the point of the object as you can see in this diagram three people are observing or measuring the length according to you which is the correct position of the eye the person b is taking the correct reading person a and c their eye level is not straight at the point so they get a wrong reading you can see more magnified diagram here it is shown how the length of the pencil is measured here using a scale one end of the scale is at the zero and the other end is at the point 12 so what is the length of the pencil it is 12 cm the correct position of the eye is just above the tip of the pencil this is the correct position if you look from this side or this side you will get a wrong reading you can see a more magnified image here measuring the length of the pencil one end of the pencil is in line with the zero of the scale and the other end here we get the length of the pencil there are three positions for the eye what is the correct position this is this position will give you the correct reading the other two positions will give you a wrong reading so the level of the eye should be exactly above the point where the measurement is made now if your scale is broken one end of the scale is broken or if the zero of the scale is not seen properly how do you do the measurement 
it is not compulsory that you should start the reading from zero itself you can start the measurement from any point any mark which is clearly seen which is clearly visible look at this picture we can see the 1 cm clearly here 2 3 4 also can be seen clearly you can keep the object anywhere the only thing is that you should not down the first reading and the final reading the difference will give you the length of the object for example here the first reading is between 2 and 3 you can see a small division what is that it is 2.5 so each small division is 0.1 cm so this length comes before 2.5 so what is that it is 2.4 cm the first reading is 2.4 cm and what is the final reading here it comes after 5 how many divisions 1 2 3 so it is 5.3 cm now what is the length of the block it is not 5.3 because we didn't start from zero if you start from zero only you can take the reading as such otherwise you have to subtract it so the length of the block is what 5.3 minus 2.4 that is the length of the block similarly you can keep the object on any reading if you keep it at 1 then subtract that 1 from the final read if you keep it at 2 starting from 2 measure the length subtract that length from 2 then you will get the correct length so this is the explanation for that now what is the third precaution to take the measurement using scale correctly if the ends of the scale are broken or the zero mark is not seen then avoid taking measurements from the zero mark of the scale instead use any other mark which is clearly seen and subtract this reading from the reading at the other end which was shown in the previous example i hope it is clear we have to follow three steps to make the measurement of length accurately we cannot measure the length of a curved line directly using a meter scale right do we have any other alternate methods for this if you are given a string or a thread and a meter scale how do you measure the length of a curved line this is an activity for you all of you should do it at home you have to draw a curved line on a paper and take a thread you have a centimeter scale with you now how do you measure the length of the curved line let us see here ab the blue line is the curved line we have named it one end as a and the other end as b and take a thread to start with you have to put a knot at one end of the thread near one end of the thread put a knot this is the reference starting point from where we can start the measurement then what you have to do you have to keep this knot at the end of the curved line hold it with your left hand then with your right hand place a small portion of the length along the curved line like this small small portion is enough then leave this hand and hold at this point again repeat the same with by taking small portion of the length and by using both of your hands you can complete this process take small small lengths and place the thread along that curve move your right hand as well as the string then with your left hand hold it till you reach the other end when you reach the other end don't leave your hand you have to put a mark here with the marker pen put a mark here so now we got the length of this curved line between two points what are the two points here the knot which we had put in the beginning and the mark at the end so the length of the curved line is between these two marks or between these two points now how to measure the length you take a meter scale or any scale according to your convenience and according you cannot use a centimeter scale for measuring this length so may take a meter scale and like how we have learned before to measure the length keep this knot at one point of the scale where it is zero or one then stretch it along the scale and see where the mark comes note down that reading that will give you the length of the string 
this is an activity for you and uh, you have to perform it at home and uh, note down the steps how to measure the length of a curved line using a thread and meter scale so we have come to the end of this session what we have learned today we have seen what are the precautions to be taken while measuring the length of an object there are three precautions hope you remember that then also we have seen how to measure the length of a curved line using a thread you can do a question as homework page number 106 question number 7 in your textbook thank you